Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm here in the shop and today I'm talking about something that I've talked about before but as always in a slightly different vein and that is ferals. Specifically collared ferals. There you go. Right there. Now what a collared ferrule does and the reason OEMs use them is to make sure that shafts are centered and have it be the adapter or the hosel on an iron or wedge or whatever it is uh, because it helps prevent breakage with graphite shafts and at the end of the day what it does is it helps speed up production because you're going to have less uh, ferrules either ride up or, or, or move up during the, the, the curing process of the epoxy and it, as I said earlier it's going to make sure that everything's centered and it really simplifies the process when you're mass manufacturing. So you have a collared ferrule and what it does is this is an old Nike head you can see the call the little lip inside of the hosel there now what that does is you, they would put the ferrule in they put some epoxy on it and then they put the shaft in and you're gonna have a snug fit now there is no epoxy in this this was something that I already pulled apart earlier and you can see that's a very snug fit there is really no movement except for maybe a little bit of flex in the gall shaft it looks really smooth it's obviously been turned down and finished uh, after the fact but what this does like I said earlier it's going to center make sure there's equal amount of epoxy all the way around the outside and it's going to prevent breakage it's going to help with centering and at the end of the day it's going to speed up production because you don't want those ferrules moving up and having to go back especially with a full set of irons and then with with woods hybrids uh, I did a video with Callaway uh, building a driver just start to finish and you see that process where there's that little lip on the collar. So they use a very specific uh, ferrule uh, that they order from their manufacturer for their parts. And that's what sometimes, that's why clubs fall apart. If you get something built and the, and the club builder's not using the right, uh, the right ferrule, or they're not using the right pieces, that's when you're gonna start to have problems. So if you are out there, you are building a golf club and you pull it apart and you see that collar ferrule, uh, if it's a wood or a hybrid or something like that, I highly recommend using the right, uh, the right ferrule for the adapter. Have it be Ping, Callaway, Titleist, TaylorMade. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you use the right one. Now, when it comes to irons, you don't necessarily need them. If you are building with steel shafts, there's a lot of different ways to center those shafts without having to worry too much. Uh, most iron hosels are going to be pretty snug anyways. They should be. Uh, if they're not, there's maybe something you can uh, maybe something you could talk about in another subject. Uh, but what that allows it to do is make sure that it's nice and centered. So you don't really have to worry about too much uh, if you are using just steel shafts into, into a standard iron. Uh, have it be parallel or taper. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can either use a little bit of shafting beads to help make sure that you've got a snug fit. Um, you can use anything that is going to create... Uh, a little bit of set like some sediment in there to thicken up the epoxy too or what I like to do is I mix the epoxy before I go through the build process it's starting to thicken up a little bit but it's still very workable and then that helps center the hosel um, the iron shaft in the hosels so when you go to build you don't have any problems down the line if you like this video please subscribe uh, give it the old thumbs up if you like the other videos that I've done before you're, you're always interested in this kind of stuff uh, please hit the subscribe button and as always thanks for watching